Today I'm going to talk about many different theories and ideas that I have about Super Mario Odyssey. However, I thought I should start with the news about Isle Delfino possibly being in Super Mario Odyssey as a playable location. If you see this picture that's on the screen right now of the full map that's been released for Super Mario Odyssey, not only you can tell there are probably some more locations for even new kingdoms that we haven't seen yet, however there is this dolphin shaped island over right next to the Mushroom King. Kingdom, and this is obviously Isle Delfino from Super Mario Sunshine. I've talked a lot throughout my videos about how Super Mario Odyssey references 64, and while I think that it does reference 64 the most compared to any other Mario title, it definitely references Sunshine a lot too. Cappy is like the next generation of Flood. I've seen many videos talking about this as well. Cappy is basically your assistant in Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, just take a look at some of this footage from one of the brutal boss fights. Fights. This fight is very similar to Mario Sunshine in many ways. However, the most remarkably similar part is when Mario uses Cappy to clear away this purple slime. He does this in many other areas in the game as well. This is just one of the many uses that Cappy has that's similar to how Flood was used in Mario Sunshine. But now the references to Sunshine have gone to an entirely different level with the island possibly being explorable in Odyssey. I know some people have mentioned in the comment section that I've gotten a bit carried away talking about how just because the location is on the map doesn't necessarily mean that it's explorable. I talked about a couple of videos ago how in a painting you could see Peach's castle from the Mushroom Kingdom and how reviewers said that Mario 64 fans would be really excited by what is beyond the painting, but they couldn't say anything more than that. This led me to believe that you could possibly explore Peach's Castle for Mario 64 in Super Mario Odyssey. Do I think we're getting a full-on HD remake of one of the best Mario titles of all time? I mean, I would love that, but I do not think so. It doesn't seem realistic to me. It could be possible DLC, which is another theory that I have for why this Mushroom Kingdom, as well as the possibly explorable Isle Delfino, are all separated from the rest of the kingdoms in Mario Odyssey. They could possibly be DLC for basically HD versions of certain areas within 64 and Sunshine in Odyssey. I think that would just be awesome to have great value out of the downloadable content for the game, just not a waste of your money. But these two areas being included in Odyssey in the way that it's seeming to be could hint at you exploring them. We know for sure Mario is going to be able to explore the Mushroom Kingdom. We don't know for sure that it's going to be the final kingdom within the game or that it's going to be the first. We just know that it's going to be in there somewhere. And I have a similar feeling with Isle Delfino here. But let me know in the comment section below what you think will become of this Isle Delfino scenario. And now I'm going to talk about some other things concerning Odyssey. I think we now know the name of the tropical kingdom that I talked about in my analysis video for Odyssey. A reason why it didn't have a name labeled on the amiibo box yard where the snow kingdom mushroom kingdom and lake kingdom were initially revealed but the reason for that is because it's called the forgotten isle now we do not know for sure 100 percent that the forgotten isle is this section of islands here that we know as the tropical kingdom however because it's not labeled on the map it leads me to one of two possibilities one it's not labeled because it's the forgotten isle and that is where the name comes from or two is an entirely different kingdom and this was just not labeled because it's meant to be a mystery in some way. Let me know in the comment section below which one you think it is or another possibility. Next some more details that I have to cover about this seaside kingdom within Odyssey. One thing that I failed to touch on in my video last week I think were these incredible seaweed enemies. Now in my video I was just trying to cover the basic information the core stuff that you have to know so I avoided talking about these guys but Aaron plays right here wanted me to talk about these guys so here you go they look awesome i love the colorful nature of them yeah they do seem kind of basic but i love that they're included in the game and add some new enemies into odyssey when i make my video about the best new enemies that top 10 or top 15 or whatever it ends up being these guys are probably gonna end up on there now earlier i was talking about the mushroom kingdom having some relation to mario 64 
But right now, I just want to talk about how it would tie into the game in the very beginning. So as you probably know, if you watched my previous videos about this, you know that many journalists and media outlets got to try Super Mario Odyssey for a little bit, and the very first part, they were just thrusted into the gameplay into a Bowser boss fight. Many people pointed out to me in the comment section below that this could just be for the demo. Warrior Land Gold Pyramid says, I feel like the game beginning right on Bowser's ship could have just been for the sake of the demo. I feel like the full game will at least have a cutscene in the Mushroom Kingdom though. I do understand this idea. Perhaps you have a little cutscene in the Mushroom Kingdom, you have this Bowser boss fight on his airship, and then eventually he kidnaps the princess, and you get kicked off into the Cap Kingdom, where you unite with Cappy. As we've seen in some gameplay of the Cap Kingdom though, it looks like it's in ruins, like somebody's destroyed it. The beings that may have destroyed the Cap Kingdom could be the Brutals, as you are seen fighting the Green Brutal in the Cap Kingdom in Odyssey. So my theory as of the moment is that you may have a cutscene in the Mushroom Kingdom and then go straight to the Bowser boss fight and then you'll get kicked off and the first kingdom that you'll be able to fully explore within the game is the Cap Kingdom. That's my idea as of right now. Click subscribe and turn on those upload notifications. I know a lot of you guys aren't turning on the notifications and some of you guys are missing my videos in your sub boxes but to ensure that you do not miss a new upload from me turn on the notifications by clicking the bell. I'll see you next time guys. Peace out.